Kurt Kanos was a member of the Emperor's Royal Guard during the time of the Galactic Civil War. Kanos, like all other guards, had unwavering loyalty to the ideals and philosophy of Emperor Palpatine. Galactic records know nothing of Kanos before he joined the Empire, but whatever his experience was, served him well as Kanos performed exceptionally well as a stormtrooper which allowed him to enter training for the Royal Guard. Arriving on Yankor with 43 other recruits, Kanos would survive the Squall, a dangerous arena of fighting and training in the wastelands of Yankor. Kanos would also meet Karnor Jax and would become training partners. This team up would give Kanos his skills for the Royal Guard's final trial. The final eight would be paired up for one standard year to survive together. Kanos was paired with Lamette Talk. At year's end, the men were brought before the Emperor. The final four to become the Royal Guards would need to win in combat against their partners, their brothers, their best friends that they just spent an entire year with. Kanos would defeat Talk, and after the Emperor left the arena, Kanos would break down about the death of his best friend at his hands. Vader was also present in these duels. He walked towards Kanos, ignited his saber, and told Kanos to never regret a command from the Emperor. Vader would move in, and Kanos would defend himself against them. But as quick as the fight started, Kanos was left lying on the ground with a head wound that would leave him scarred for life. Kerr Kanos, Royal Guardsman, was assigned to protect other assets for the Emperor, which saw him survive the Galactic Civil War and the destruction of the Death Star II. Kanos would wander the galaxy living through the ideals of his Emperor until his resurrection on Onderon. However, Luke Skywalker had other plans, who was able to stop the Clone Emperor, and in this even many of the Royal Guards were killed at the Emperor's Throne World on Biss and on board the Eclipse II. The remaining Royal Guards used the last ditch plan to regroup on Yankul. The Royal Guards discovered Connor Jax, betrayed his oath, who sent his own legion of stormtroopers to defeat the remaining guards. The Royal Guards would fight their last fight, where everything began on Yankor. The guards were defeated by sheer numbers of stormtroopers, until all but Kyle Hanad and Kanos remained. The two could see their demise, and both agreed one must escape to fulfill the last part of their oath, to get revenge for the Emperor by killing Jax. Hanad agreed he was the lesser fighter, and made the ultimate sacrifice for Kanos to escape. Kanos would spend several years avoiding the Remnant Imperials and Jax until he could lure him into a duel. And Kanos did just that. By participating in several New Republic battles, they got the attention of Jax. Arriving on Yankor one last time, Jax would dispatch his Black Hole Troopers. Kanos would overcome this squad, but it routed him to the Squall, where Connor Jax waited. Where it all began, it would all end. Kanos and Jax would face off in the Duel of the Ages, and just as Kanos was about to win, Jax would reveal his ability to use the Force. This would bring Kanos to the brink of defeat, but in the end, he would ultimately defeat Jax and avenge his Emperor. Kurt Kanos, Royal Guardsman, would go on to become the bounty hunter Kenex Kill and begin a new quest to defeat the Imperial Interim.